Good morning. I'm Gary, and I'm a joiner, carpenter, woodworker, and maker of stuff. This is my workshop studio. It's like a second home. It's been my career for over 40 years, and I just want to share with you some of my tips, tricks, and methods of my trade and how I work. It's mostly build ins, bookcases, fitted alcoves, and blah, blah, blah. Let's see what I'm making this week. Hi guys, thanks for joining us for part two of this project and step by step of how I do it. Give you a wee reminder of what it is from last week, changing this wall from this to this. So we're going to continue that project, but before I start that, I've got a wee issue that I need fixing. That's my gear stick. Mine fell off. So I made an O-king. I never put the numbers on it, but I think I remember where the gears are anyway. On the wood turner lathe, I put a wee bit of oak in here. I'll bring you a wee bit closer, see what I'm doing. We'll get this cap and piece turned. I've been doing wood turning for about 35 years now. And I don't class myself as a wood turner. In fact, the best wood turners in the world are not joiners and carpenters. They're wood turners by profession. About 20% of the project that I make in a workshop involves some sort of wood turning. So it is a very useful skill to have. It's not a difficult skill to master, but it's like everything else. If you give it a go, you just get better at it. That's it, let's have a wee look. Yep, nice and smooth. Just need to cut it off, try it on. I hope it fits. Trying it on, oh, this is live. If this sneaked in before to make sure it fits. So I'm gonna offer it in. Okay, so I'm a bit worried now. Wow, wonderful. Also, this week I might not talk so much because I do tend to talk and rub it on a wee bit, so maybe a bit less talking. However, I still need to talk about some things. I need to say what it is that I'm doing. This week I've got a lapel mic on. I think I might start using that so that you can hear me. But they say good content be bad audio is worse than good audio be bad content. I agree with that, I think. I think that's right enough. This is the bead frame here. I think I've done a video on showing how to make these before, but I thought while I'm doing this video, I thought I'd just give you a refresher. And it sets off the unit really, does it? That's a traditional way of doing it with a traditional hinge. A lot of the doors that I put on now, they'll have the concealed hinge with a soft close on it. So you could, if I wanted to, hinge it off the side of my old column but you know aesthetically it just looks so much better when there's a bead frame that comes around a unit and it's very traditional you see the old guys back in the day they would have this framework that would go around the opening of doorways and drawers they used to have blades in their hand planes that would be shaped to a profile I think I've got one here I used to actually do my bead frames with this plane. You can see the bead blade, and that's how I would make my bead frames. Here is the cutter. I'm not sure if the camera can see it. It's got the bead inside it. Now, if I was to raise that too high, it would make a shoulder on it. So I set this to the height, whereas, and here's the one I run earlier. In fact, I'll go and run our edge and I can show you what I mean. Here it is. That's it there. That's me keeping it on the line there. So that this bead is on the same as that. Now the cutter is set so that it actually cuts it in a wee bit. Um, sometimes it cuts it as far back as here. And that's a big step. So I set this fence so that it just comes in front of it. If you understand what I mean. I've run them all already. This is just me going back in time. 
and this bit's no use because I like to have it I have it not free. It's very difficult in redwood to try and find a lantern not free so I managed to get sections of it, cut off all the dots and I use that as a blue frame. I know a place where we can go and be What a difference that makes. So that's it, they're fitted in place now, or just temporary, and I've fitted these on to take my hinge, because I'm not hinging it off the comb, so, and they're concealed hinges, um, but you notice on the fronts of the bead frame, there are no knots, that knot there is hidden by the column. You won't see Okay folks, thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, you're amazing. Please share and like and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see more of this. Share it on your Google Twitface thing. If you'd like to buy me a coffee, the link is in the description below. Don't need to, but it's appreciated. I'll see you the next time. Bye for now. Doors. Now, very simple method of a profile and scribe set so that is the scribe which does this is it so this is like a, me just trial that that's an oak so and that's a lamp so I can't tell there